So, hi YouTube, Shigar Angel 515 2010. This is going to be a quick TTC update as well as um, it's going to kind of be a video about um, some different vitamin regimens. Um, well, my prenatal vitamins that I've been taking. Um, as you guys know, um, you've probably seen Stan and Brittany's video um, talking about getting fit for pregnancy. And they talked about some different um, vitamins that were very important during, I guess, you know, trying to conceive. Um, <clears throat> and so, I'm going to show you guys the uh, prenatals that I've been taking as well as um, a little bit about the vitamin regimen that I've got my husband on now. Um, I will tag Brittany and Stan in this video. Um, if you do not know, their YouTube name is bewarn0609 as well as another one of my um, subscribers. Um, I'm subscribed to her as well. Her name is Erica Rubio. Let me make sure I'm getting her name right. I hate to say it wrong. She just got her BFP, so I'm pretty sure you guys saw the video. Um, is um, E Rubio 070707. Um, I'll put her down in the bottom as well. She asked about what type of prenatals that we were all taking. Um, she's trying to get some advice on it because she did get her BFP. Um, so. Here we go, find me regiments, ladies. And sorry if I look a mess, but today has been like just a steady day, and I had, was supposed to go to work today, and then they call, and I'm like, oh, we don't need you, so I ended up staying home. So me and the hubby took the dog to the park, and I've been doing homework all day. So <clears throat> here are my prenatals. Um, these are actually Walmart brand prenatals. They are fairly inexpensive. I believe I paid like eight dollars for a bottle of 240 tablets. Um, so I actually I brought these before I actually started my TCC journey. Um, one of my friends, Edie Hill, 1988, which I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched pregnancy vlogs on YouTube, you've seen her. She's a big hit up here. Um, she was actually pregnant with Kane. And before she actually got pregnant, she would always go, you know, what type of multivitamin are you taking? And I was just taking, you know, like maybe a, um, a to Z multivitamin or one a day vitamin. And she's like, oh, I take prenatal. She was like, because, you know, they pretty much got all the vitamins you need, like 10 times more than a regular vitamin anyway. So that was a really good option. So I went and brought them and then my husband decided to start TTC and, you know, so I had some. So that was a good thing. I had this bottle for about maybe five months now and it's. You know, about halfway, not even halfway gone. Um, now, because I used to forget to take them, but now since I've been teaching seeing, I've really, really been on it. Um, this past, well, starting my last cycle, I like got on it really, really hard. Like every morning it was a ritual. I would get up, I would brush my teeth, wash my face. Um, if it was time for me to OPK, um, I would take my vitamin right before I did my OPKs. But before I left the house, I would take my vitamin and grab me something to eat. So I was running out the door. Um, but anyway, back to what's in my vitamin. So this is the Walmart prenatal vitamin. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this. Um, and a lot of women do it. So I'm just going to kind of give you guys the gist of what's in it so far as the vitamins. Um, <clears throat> it's got vitamin A, 400 IU. Um, which they give you your um, percent based on the daily value that for a pregnant woman or for someone who's lactating. Um, so it's got vitamin A, 400 IU, which is 50% um, of the daily value of what women need. Um, it's got vitamin C in it, 120 mg, which is 200% of the daily um, percentage for what women need. It's got vitamin D, 400 IU, which is 100% of what women need when they're pregnant or lactating. It's got vitamin D. Um, 400 IU, which is 100 percent. Um, vitamin E, which is 30 IU, which is 100 percent as well. Um, it's got thiamine. Um, it's vitamin B1. It's got 1.8 mg's, which is 106 percent of what women need when they're pregnant or lactating. Um, I'm probably gonna mess this name up. I'm gonna try to pronounce it. It's got robofalin. Fal. Robofalin. Um which is vitamin B2. It's got 100, well, 1.7 mg, which is 85% of what women need in their daily vitamin dose. Um, <clears throat> it's got vitamin B6, um, 2.6 mg, which is 104% of what women need. 
It's got um, niacin 20 mg, which is 100% of what women need. It's now this is the big one right here, especially when you're pregnant. Um, it's got folic acid 800 um, mcg, which is 100% of what women need. Um, it's got vitamin B12 8 mcg, which is 100% of what women need. It's got calcium. It's got 200 mg, which is 15% of what women need on a daily basis. Um, <clears throat> it's got iron 28 mg, which is 156% what women need. It's got zinc. Um, 25 mg's, which is 167% of what women need. Um, so, for a prenatal, for it to be fairly inexpensive, like eight bucks for a bottle of, you know, 240, it's not bad. Of course, there are some things that you know it's not at 100%. Um, as I told you guys, calcium is only 200 um, mg, which is only 15% of what women need. So. I think it will be beneficial to take an additional calcium vitamin on top of calcium vitamin on top of that, as well as um, <clears throat> vitamin A. It's only about 50% of what women need when they're pregnant um, or lactating. So, you know, I'm gonna go out and look for a vitamin A and C. Um, I'm sorry, a vitamin A and a calcium. You know, trying to find a pill that has both of those in it. Um, and then I'll kind of. I'll show you guys what the back looks like. Um, it's front, and then we'll scroll around to the back, which has. You can't really get a good thing, but it'll tell you all the vitamins that are listed in there. I mean, you guys can just go to Walmart and go down like the vitamin L and just pick them up and kind of read down it. So this is a really good option for me. Um, now on to the husband. So when Stan and Brittany did the video and they were kind of like, you know, women are, well, you know, you got to get fit for pregnancy. Um, I know I've been on my vitamin D. My husband had not. So I feel like if I'm going to be, you know, trying to stay fit and get healthy for um, being pregnant, he does too. Because, you know, Stan told us about some wonderful, you know, items that we need to get the sperm count up, to get it, you know, I guess runny enough to get up into the cervix or meet the egg. Um, so I started him on a A to Z um, multivitamin supplement. Um, these came from Walgreens. It was a hundred tablets. Um, it's called the Complete Balance. Um, this one has vitamin A. It's got um, 3500 IU, which is 70%. It's got vitamin C, 90 mg, which is 150%. Of what I guess a daily amount that people need. Um, it's got vitamin E, 30 IU. It's got vitamin K, 25 MCG, which is 31 percent. It's got thalamine, um, 1.5 mg, which they say is 100 percent of what you need in your day. Um, Robofalene, which I told you guys I could pronounce earlier, which is 1.7 mg, which is 100 percent of what they say in your day. Um, it's got niacin, which is 20 mg, which is 100 percent. It's got vitamin B6. 2 mg, just 100%. It does have folic acid in it. It's got um, 500 mcg, so it's 125% of, um, <clears throat> I guess, what men need or the regular person who is not pregnant or lactating. So the folic acid is lower than what's inside the prenatals, but it's telling you it's 125% of you know, what you need in your daily dosage. These are not prenatal, so they're not recommended for women who are, you know, pregnant or lactating. It's a good multivitamin if you're just in your day-to-day -day life, kind of like my husband in his day-to-day -day life trying to get, you know, healthy and fit. Um, if you are pregnant, you do need more folic acid, so I would not recommend uh, just plain multivitamin. Um, but these are my husband's vitamins, and these are Angel's vitamins. Um, so, back to his vitamins. Uh, see where did I stop? Folic acid. Um, his B12. It's got B12 in it. It's got six MCG, which is 100%. It's got um, calcium, which is 20 mg, 20%. It's got iron. It's got um, phosphorus, 109 mg. It's got iodine. It's got magnesium. It's got zinc. It's got um, saline. It's got copper, magnesium. Um, Chloride, potassium, um, so tons and tons of good stuff um, in them. 
And both of our vitamins are one a day. So I wake up in the morning, I do my routine, and I grab my prenatal. And when the husband's on the way out the door, I fix him his breakfast and hand him a glass of juice or water, and then he takes his multivitamin D. We take them at the same time to make sure that we both take them. And it's a neat little way for us to kind of remind us, you know, like, babe, did you take your vitamin D? Uh, yeah. Did you take yours? Yep. So, I just want to kind of do a quick video to let you guys know which prenatals I'm on. And they do work. They are phenomenal for the skin, the hair, and the nails. I think that long after my TTC journey, or <clears throat> after I'm long, long past pregnancy and breastfeeding and everything else, I think I will continue to take a prenatal. Um, within the last month and a half that I've been taking them, I've noticed my nails grow a lot faster, my skin's gotten a lot clearer, and my hair has gotten so long, guys. It's in a ponytail nail, but it's gotten so long. You guys can kind of see how long my pony is. It is like super, super long. Um, my hair normally grows fast and I normally keep it cut short or up in a, you know, braids or a weave so that I really don't have to manage it too much. But it's growing so, so fast. Normally I could break my hair and, you know, keep it in for a month and a half, almost two months. Now I put braids in and after like a week and a half, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've got so much new growth and so much growth. Like so much new growth, so much growing dandruff. It's crazy. So, um, they're really good for that as well. So, um, hope I didn't bore you ladies too much. I'm so, I don't want to say bored, but yeah. <laughs> this is the beginning of a new cycle, so we're not even close to, you know, ovulation or anything. Um, yeah. So, I think that is probably going to be it, ladies. This is. You girl Angel, 515-2010. I am currently on cycle day three. Um, AF is still here. It's a very, very light day. This cycle, me and my husband are doing the sperm meets the egg plan. So if you guys haven't heard about it, make sure you look it up. It's a really good option. Um, a couple ladies on YouTube use the plan, and that's the first one of using it. They got their BFP. Um, Glam Girl Nisha was one of them. Um, the journey starts now. Um, I believe, yeah, her cycle. She got her BFP. She was doing the sperm meets, well, the sperm meets the egg plan. Um, so those are some really good options. So hopefully I will be getting my BFP soon. Um, and lots of baby dust to all you ladies, all the ladies who are in a two-week wait. Um, try to stay focused. Don't pee on a stick too much. It's just gonna drive you crazy. Um, and I hope there are lots and lots of BFPs this month. So, go Team 2011. Bye, ladies. And Stan.